Hey, it's Mr. Rupster, and so we're going to solve this particular problem here, where Sony invests a total of $175,000 in three index funds, F1, 2, and 3. So I know F1 plus F2 plus F3 is $175,000. After one year, the combined value of all our investments was this much. So after one year, I know it's going to be 181615. And she knows that she each invested made an av average annual gain of this much percent. So F1 is going to be 1.025 times F1 plus a 1.048 F2 plus a 1.035 F3 equals this much. And then finally, the last bit is that F2 is twice as much in F2 than in F1. So if I think about this, I know that F2 does not equal F1. I know invested twice, and so there's more money in here. So if I want them to be equal, then I have to make this 2. So if I rearrange it, I know that 2F1 minus F2 is equal to 0. And so here is my system of equations. I get three matrices kind of thing, or and so if I call, if I have matrix A times X is equal to B, A is going to be, simply I'm going to take all the coefficients, and it will be this particular matrix here, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1.025, 1 1.048, 1 1.035, and then 2 minus 1 is 0. That's matrix A. X is going to simply be, I'm going to call it F1, F2, and F3. So it's going to be A times that. And then B, if I show you B, B is going to be this particular matrix here. Uh, here we go, the 175,000, 181, and 0. And if I use the idea of matrices now, if I want to solve this, I have to multiply by the inverse. So I have to multiply this side to negative 1, and this side to negative 1, A. That will become the identity matrix, and when I multiply A inverse, if I pull this over, you can see that I solve it as such. A inverse times B, will give me F1, F2, and F3. 